My name is Raymond Saborio. I am the proud principal of Sacred Heart High School in Lincoln Heights. It's an all-girls Catholic uh, college prep. We have 280 students, 93% which are Latina. 98% of our students receive financial assistance. We've distributed this year alone $1.5 million in tuition assistance to help keep our girls at Sacred Heart High School. So why Sacred Heart High School? Once you become a Comet, we are going to empower you to shatter the cycle of patriarchy. I'll give you an example. There's not too many women who are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. There's not too many women in engineering. There's not too many women in science. And we want to change that. By coming to Sacred Heart High School, you're going to learn the skills, the tools, the experiences necessary to shatter that and to shatter the ceiling and the sky's the limit. My name is Luz Vivas and I'm the Vice Principal of Sacred Heart High School. Sacred Heart High School has a seven period class schedule. We're on a block schedule, which means that we designate our days um, A and B days. A days we go to class periods one through four, and B days we have periods five through seven with an activity normally on, on the Wednesdays. We at Sacred Heart High School are very lucky to have a partnership with East Los Angeles College. We have uh, about 50 students every year take concurrent enrollment uh, courses with ELAC, and this has been going on for the past three years. We're very fortunate that our students take advantage of this opportunity and end up with uh, college credit after they graduate from Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart is special because of the family. You get a sense of community and that you are welcome here. Everybody treats you with kindness, they love you, and they want to help you to do your best. My name is Ms. Cajigas. I've been at Sacred Heart High School for seven years. I'm the Dean of Discipline. I'm also the freshman and sophomore English teacher. So in the classroom, we build community through positive reinforcement, praise. We also contact parents through our powers of eight. And we do this in the classroom to build up their confidence, empower the young ladies, which in turn, they can take that confidence and empowerment out into the real world. The concept of familia is actually something that really stands out for me, that is very personal to me as an alumni. I have um, fostered friendships here. I have become very close friends with girls that I met when we were 14 and we are now older adults, parents, many of us, and the concept of familia is very true still to us, and I see it with the girls now, um, whether they're good friends or just acquaintances, but the concept that they are in it, um, in the good times, in the bad times, they are connected to each other in a very um, spiritual, very fun kind of way, just like a, a, a typical family would be. I can tell you that the athletic program here is top notch. We have an amazing staff, we have awesome coaches, we have students that are ready to just dive in and get better. We've had to go in the past to parks, to other schools for our indoor sports. And now that we have a gym of our own, it brings our community together. And our athletes have a place where they can call home. Well, historically, we have dominated in cross country and track and field. We're hoping to get our 10th in, uh, in a row consecutive championship in cross country and track and field has numerous years of success. Now, we might run the gamut coming soon with all of our sports becoming championship teams in our league. Sacred Heart is rich in tradition. If I had to pick one, I think Play Day is one that really stands out for the students and for the teachers. So each class gets to put on a 15 minute production um, based on a theme for the year, whether that's Disney, Pixar, and for teachers, it's really neat to kind of see the leaders emerge when they 
put these productions together and have to problem solve and you know figure it out and the girls have a blast on the day where they finally get to show what they've been working on so that has to be one of um, our favorites here. All the girls here are really connected even though we're like in different grades. For example we have big sister little sister where the seniors get to pick a freshman and they get to guide them throughout our years. So I like that and I like how it doesn't matter what grade you're in that you're still going to be a part of this family. Fíjese que para mí ha sido una bendición y una maravilla y estoy muy contenta de tenerlas aquí porque aparte de que mi hija Denise Sánchez se ha, se ha desenvuelto de una manera increíble, ha logrado sus, sus metas. Este, es una niña muy emprendedora, muy este, estudiosa y más que nada que le gusta estar aquí conviviendo el Sagrado Corazón para nosotros ha sido una bendición. A school is a building. But this school, um, there's some kind of heart here. And I know it's Sacred Heart, but um, there's something amazing that's going on here at Sacred Heart. And I just feel like if you want something amazing for your daughters, um, Sacred Heart is your choice. Um, they're going to take care of your daughters. They're going to make them great women. And I'm already seeing that already, so. Some advice I have for new students is just to be yourself and um, be open to meeting new people because this environment, this family environment is so kind and they're just open to becoming a new family. Hi, I'm Sister Patricia Ann Smith and I started here at Sacred Heart High School in the 60s as Pat Smith and uh, graduated from this school. Uh, went to Cal State for a year and then entered the convent. So I've been connected to this school uh, in that way because I loved Sacred Heart High School. I loved it as a kid. The faith formation at Sacred Heart High School is both a program and an environment. And the program is in the religion classes and in all the other classes where we talk about values. It's in our activities, it's in our discipline program, it's in our rules. The focus is on accountability and responsibility. So it's, it's value-based and doctrine-based and faith-based. It's also an environment in the school. This, the faculty, the administration, the faculty, and the staff, they try very, very hard to have a beautiful, supportive, encouraging relationship among themselves, and then also to have that with the students.